so what is normalization so in the database design based on er model may have some amount of inconsistency ambiguity and redundancy to resolve these issues some amount of refinement is required this refinement process is called normalization now why before before actually designing the database what what we do we draw the year model of the database right and based on the year model we'll try to design our database so what will happen is let's say if you have a, a, a blueprint blueprint of a building and uh, you have created uh, the building but the interior and all you cannot put into the blueprint right so for the interior let's say the color the tiles that you'll use um, the the curtain that you'll use into the room uh, what should be the place of the lights what should be the place of the acs what should be the place of the fans all these will be decided afterwards so we'll do the fine tuning depend upon our requirement and we'll design our home such a way which is the base is the blueprint but the thing is that after the, after building after uh, we'll um, build a, a particular home what we'll do is we further fine tune that in the same way in the year, year with the help of year model we design the database and after that we may have some problems some inconsistency some ambiguity or some redundancy that could be removed and that could be removed with the help of the process which is called normalization now let's talk about normalization Normalization is a technique for producing a set of relations with a desired a desirable property given the data requirements of an enterprise. The process of normalization was first developed by E.F. Cord. Normalization is often performed as a series of tests on a relation to determine whether it satisfies or violates the requirement of a given normal form. Now, what is that? The normalization is a technique of producing a set of relations with a desirable property. So what will happen is we have one relation. Normalization will produce set of relation means it will split the table or it will split a relation into different relation with the desired property and this particular process will develop by EF Cord. Normalization is often performed as a series of tests. So we'll perform the test into the table. And if the test fail, we'll go for the normalization process and based on the normalization form, in which form we want that my table should be, or in which form I want my relation or database should be. So based on that, I'll test. And if it fail in that particular normal form, I'll do, uh, I'll do splitting the table in such a way so that I can achieve that normal form. That whole process is called normalization. Okay. The whole process is called normalization. Now, what are the advantages of normalization? In the normalization process, less storage space will be there means the storage space will be less the reason is because we are reducing the data redundancy into the database means the duplicate data will be removed so if the duplicate data will be removed definitely the storage required to, to store that relation will be less as well as it eliminates some serious manipulation anomalies so we have insertion updation and deletion anomaly it will eliminate those anomalies as well as it will provide us the flexible structure 
in which we can do all the operation related to the database like insertion, deletion or updation. What are the normal form? So we have different normal forms. If I want a table should be in that normal form. So we have to first test for that, whether the table is in the particular normal form, which I want or not. If it is not in the normal form, which I require, then I'll use the formula to split the table and get that particular normal form, right? So uh, given a relational schema, we need to decide whether it is a good design or we need to decompose it into a smaller relation. To make such a decision, several normal form has been proposed. What it says? It says that, see, at the time of ER model, what we do is we design the database, we design the schema. So what was there in the database? In the database, we have entity name. It means the table name. And then we have different attributes. Attributes means column name. And then we may have the relationship between one table to another table with some relationship set, right? These are the information is there in the ER model. When we create the database by using the ER model, so what we do is we create the table, means we'll use a data definition language, which is create. So with the help of create data, uh, uh, command, we create the table. So while creating the table, actually we are creating the schema of the table. Schema means the structure of the table. After defining the structure of the table, we just go for normalization process. So now at that particular time, when we haven't insert any data, we can design or we can um, uh, further readjust the data base in such a way so that the anomaly will not going to occur. Getting it? So th for that, we'll use the normal form and we have some normal form based on that we'll make the decision. So there are different normal form. We have uh, the first NF, first normal form is called first normal form. Second normal form is called second normal form. Third normal form is again called third normal form. The fourth normal form is called BCNF, which is called bicot normal form. Then we have the fifth normal form, which is called fourth normal form. And the last normal form is called fifth normal form or PJNF, project joint normal form. So how many normal form we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six normal form. So what will happen is previously we have five normal form from first normal form to fifth normal form. But later on the research will be done and it has been realized that there would be the gap, the third normal form and the fourth normal form in between there is a gap and that gap will be filled by another normal form which is called BCNF, by court normal form. So we'll learn about all these normal form one by one.